Hi, welcome back to Big C's Reviews. Just doing a quick draft preview for this tomorrow's NBA draft for the Spurs. Um, maybe talk a little about about our the number one pick. Uh, you know, definitely the Phoenix should go for Ion, the one from uh, Arizona. He is going to be a very special player. Uh, Mo Bamba from Texas, I think, is probably either going to end up in Dallas or he might even end up in Atlanta, which would be an actually pretty good pick. Um, I have a couple guys that I know this, that might fall to the Spurs. Um, Dante DiVincio, um, he played at Villanova, a sharpshooter. Um, I think also maybe Grayson Allen may be there too from Duke. He's a pretty good shooter too, so I think that those two guys have a good chance of maybe falling at that spot. Um, I know Dazan Musa is a European small forward, uh, scorer, pretty talented young man. Um, he could also be in that spot. They're, you know, and the draft's kind of up in the air. We don't know what's going to happen with Kawhi Leonard. So these are guys that might be there. You know, Spurs always love to surprise people. So people think, oh, you know, they're going to pick this guy or they work these guys out. And the person you least expect, they draft. So another guy, maybe Gary Trent Jr., Omar Spillman, who's a big man. I think they like him a lot. Gary Trent's a good shooter from Duke. Um, his dad played in the NBA, so another guy that we could be uh, drafting, and I'm sure they they have a little interest in him. Um, I know Kyrie Smith, and he falls to us. They might pick him up from T. I think he's from Texas Tech. Um, but I think he'll probably be drafted higher than 18. If the Spurs make a trade up with one of the higher up teams, um, they might pick up a big name player, but it all depends on everything that's going on with Kawhi Leonard. So another guy is Jerome Robinson. I believe he's a forward or guard. Um, he's another guy that's popped up in their um, draft spot. So there's a couple guys. Um, Javon Carter, who could also maybe end up as a second rounder for us. But he's still there. He's a pretty good point guard. Um, pretty good score and pretty had a pretty good college career. So he could be a guy that we might um, draft maybe in the second round. So the second round, it's a, it's a crap shoot. You never know what guys are going to fall there or who's going to be there. And most likely that second round pick will probably end up in Austin playing for the Toros. So, I mean, not for the Taurus, for the Spurs, Austin Spurs. So that could be uh, just a piece to build on for the future. Um, like I said, the things with with uh, guys like Kawhi Leonard, we don't know what's going on. You know, it's been pretty quiet. I mean, there's rumors, but really nothing, you know, that has been said either by the Spurs or Kawhi Leonard. So I know there was a rumor that... Cleveland was offering, um, what's his name, Kevin Love and the eighth pick for Kawhi. Uh, I mean, I know Kevin Love's a pretty decent player, so I think that wouldn't be a bad trade. Um, and the eighth pick, I mean, we could still get a really good player at that spot. So there's a couple guys out there that might be, you know, you know there's a couple good players out there that are going to be in the draft. The first, I would say maybe the first, Maybe nine players. There could be some good players coming out of that. Uh, guys that are going to be drafted there. So I think the NBA is uh, looking forward to some really interesting players coming in the draft. Some young talent that's going to infuse a little more energy into the NBA and make it a little more exciting. Um, so hopefully, you know, something goes good for the Spurs tomorrow. Uh, with both their picks at the 49th and the 18th. So we'll see how the draft goes. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll find out a little bit more about Kawhi, if not during the draft, maybe after the draft, the, next, the coming weeks after, maybe to see what's going to go on. And let the Spurs keep him for the year and wait till the trade deadline. So there's a lot of things we don't know. But it's exciting. It's draft time. You know, the Spurs need... Some young talent, some young blood infused again, um, some new guys coming in, so we might bring back some of our young players from last year, like Forbes and 
and Davis Bertans. Um, I like them, young players. Um, Brandon Paul would be a good guy to bring back, give him a chance to play a little bit more. So I'm looking forward to see what the Spurs do tomorrow. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you, Big, Big C Nation. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please share, like, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Bye, y'all. Peace.